Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Thanks, Marilyn. I know a lot of people were concerned on if they did their things right or not. Um, for those who want a cough drink. <laughs> All right, guys, can you hear me? I can see it's not quite started yet, which is weird. I'm here. I don't know. There must be a huge lag. You know, I just realized I didn't put my phone on do not disturb. That's not going to be good. Oh, well, what can I do about that? I hope no one calls me. <laughs> oh, I should probably text my husband or not text him, but message him over here. Can you guys hear me? I Okay, this is so weird. It's like a whole minute lag. Okay, hi guys. I'm going to try to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. It's probably not going to happen. Forget it. Every time I do that, I think I'm pausing. Ugh, what a bummer. Sorry, guys. Hopefully no one calls me. <laughs> All right, that's so weird. That's a whole minute lag. Very weird. Almost a minute and a half. I've been talking to myself. <laughs> um, I might sit here nice and quiet until it catches up. This is weird. Um... I do have this just in case because today is craft morning? Not really craft day, I don't know. Such a weird lag, sorry guys. Well anyway, so if I do have any links in the description box, I actually have some links in there right now um, for the things that I have picked up on today's HSN craft morning. Uh, those are affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission of your purchase items to those links. Yeah, it's like a craft clearance and I had noticed that, you know, looking at the guide a couple weeks ago, but I was like, that's kind of weird. It's just a weird day. Um, but I want to get the chat going. Ooh, actually, I can see the chat better when it's up like this. I had my iPad oriented this way. And the chat's kind of small over here. But if I do this way, I can see quite a bit more. Um, anyway. Yeah, it is such a weird thing on HSN. I don't know what they're doing. It's weird. Okay, also, I wanted to straighten this out. I don't like when things are crooked. <laughs> so let me see if I can straighten that. Oh, it's a little straighter, a little better. I'm trying to get it so that I'm more in focus here. Because I know um, a lot of times it'll show too much of this area and I'm all, all crooked. I'm over here because this is what I'm used to. And then it's showing me over there. Anyway, um, yeah, and it's so weird about HSN because they also are having... Yeah, Cheryl says not buying anything today. I bought two things. <laughs> yeah, Myra says this is a you know, day she's going to spend the least on HSN. Yeah, I know. And I'll tell you what I bought. Oh, thank you. That looks good. Okay, good. Um, I bought, I did buy the, uh, the Today Special, of course, the Christmas one. But I have questions about that. So I'm going to talk about that right now. And then I ordered a Studio Light uh, stamp press. Because you know me, I like to spend all my money on anything other than a Misty. So um, Studio Light has a little stamp press that I want to try out. It's magnetized. It has these cute little tabs. Anyway, I have the links in the description box for it. And so I picked that up too. But that's it. I think. There might be one other thing. Whatever I had linked there is what I picked up. The Today Special, we, yeah, it, it came out in April or a while ago, right? So I already got that before. And then I canceled the uh, sub, the auto ship, which you guys know, I always tell you, get the auto ship, get the auto ship. You're going to, you know, kick yourself if you don't get the auto ship on all these different things whenever there's an auto ship available. But with this one, I'm going to say, in my opinion, I already canceled mine from the last time I got this same Today Special um, because it is not good. Uh, I'm going to show it to you right now. I'm going to show it to you right now. This is the, one of the auto ships that came with that first initial set, right? You know, the verse stamp auto ship that they did a while back. It's basically the same thing, I guess. Um, and I canceled all the auto ships too. Okay, so it's $35. It's $5 shipping. And then there's tax. So it's about 43 bucks. And usually I don't talk about money stuff unless, like, I paid for it because... And I feel more comfortable because I paid for it, so I can have an opinion on that. Um, this is $43, guys. This is how it comes. It doesn't come in a box. You guys remember when we uh, did the unboxing, and I was like, what is... I didn't even know what I was looking at. Um, so it's the stamp set, which are acrylic stamps, okay? They're not photopolymer. Acrylic stamps. Okay? They have a different feel to them, but they're still acrylic stamps. And then these guys. And this is $43 on the auto ship. So I was like, no way. So I canceled it. And it was too late for me to return this one by the time I got things settled in my brain. So that's a bummer. So I did get... 
<laughs> Couldn't believe what I got for my money. I know, everybody. Every, I haven't heard one person say, oh, this was so great. I'm so glad I spent 40 some odd dollars on that. Because usually their auto ships come in another box or something. And I know this goes in the binder, but guess what? The binder's already maxed out pretty much with what came the first time. So they are selling separate binders. So if you wanted that, but... Um, but this is barely going to fit in there. And then these things, I couldn't believe, I, I honestly couldn't believe it. There are no, uh, card bases. It's just the inserts, which are pretty, but $43 for these little papers. <laughs> I was just like, nope, couldn't do it. So I wanted to show it to you guys a PSA because a public service announcement, if you're curious about the auto ship, in my opinion, it's not worth it. No way. But pretty much anybody I heard of that got it was like, I returned it, I canceled all the other ones. And I'm like, yeah, so did I. Um, and then I did order the Christmas set, just not auto ship, but just the Christmas set. But I do want to show you that I have a lot of the Christmas ones and I don't know if they're the same. So I need to go look at it closer because I ordered it just because I was like, okay, I'll order it. But I have like, this was the Christmas ones from before. Uh, snowflakes are kisses, and it has all the snowflake words. It has believe in the magic. I think the new Christmas ones are different from this because they're like, you know, for my daughter, for my grandparents, for whoever. So I think they are different, but I already have like all these Christmas ones. So we'll see. I think they're different though, right, guys? I, you guys can let me know. So I just want to show you what that looks like. And I put these in a diamond press binder. So that fits really nice. I have two sets actually of those kind of things, uh, the verse stamps, like one of the big sets they came out with a while ago and then another big set of the Christmas. And then um, the one I got last time around is over there somewhere. So I already shown that. I just wanted to show you what the auto ship looks like so that you can make a, an informed decision because we all assume that there was gonna be a box and there was not. And why is that? Uh, I see this big shadow here and it's bothering me. Bothering me, it's gonna stay because of the lighting right now because of the lighting situation at the moment. <laughs> oh well, sorry guys. Is it this? No, it's the actual, okay. Um, okay, yeah, Alice, the, the new set did look more like script. And now that I think about it, when they were talking about like, oh, you know, to my granddaughter or to grandson or whatever, they are different, so that's good. Thank you, Kathy. Thanks guys. Um, you know what? I didn't bring my coffee, hold on. <laughs> Uh, so how many Christmas stamps does one really need? I know, Diana, that's the other part of it. But you know me. So there's a different reasons I'll pick things up. It's because I want to try out for you guys, like for content. And then sometimes it's because like, I really need to have this and I want to buy it, you know? Um, so this is more of a, I need to try it out. <laughs> Who else loves gnomes though? Okay. Yeah, let me go grab my coffee right quick. Sorry, I'll leave you checking this out. But yeah, so I just bought the two things and that's it. I'm good with that for today. Oh, thank you, Ethel. She says, Greetings, Vinny. Love your opinion so much. I mean, obviously it's just my opinion. And a lot of times, you know, obviously people can see what's happening. If that's for them or if they like it, that's great. Um, another thing is, uh, I think Beth had mentioned too that there might be some things from uh, uh, bleh, from Auto Ship. What am I talking about? From Diamond Press on um, HSN in September. They haven't released any of them. I have videos ready to go for those things once they get released, but I can't put the videos out yet really until they're released, <laughs> if they are released. And they are some cute things, you guys. So keep an eye out. I know you guys watch whenever you can, but it, it'll, hopefully you guys will, um, will like them too. They're super cute. Um, and then October is a regular craft day, I think. So hopefully kind of a weird thing they're doing to say. Also because a lot of times they do free shipping on, um, clearance stuff, but they're not even doing that. It's just like clearance show kind of weird. I don't know. I had to start putting limit on my crafting shopping. Yeah, that's what we say all the time. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe we got a nice break this time around, right? All right. So there's just a few of us here. So what happens is um, a lot of these swaps came in super early and I've been sitting on them and no, I haven't been sitting on them literally, but like holding them. And so I think I'm going to start launching them. Obviously people who sent off on Saturday are not going to be in this pile yet. And I haven't gone to the post office today yet. Hopefully there's going to be like another 10 or 15 there today and tomorrow, you know? So, uh, I think I'm going to go, I pulled about like 20 some out of them. We're going to look at them, check them out. Um, and that way I'll have time to go through each one of them because there are four folders in each swap. And I was thinking about, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm a crazy person. Like, well, I didn't even think about the time that it's going to go through. And I thought, well, maybe I'll go through a couple of them. <laughs> but I think this way, if I do a show today, maybe tomorrow, maybe Wednesday, it just depends. And then we'll go through them. Um, 
So thank you guys. Thank you guys for joining. Everything I've peeked at has looked really great. So uh, yeah, Diamond Press. No, they're uh, doing great. Um, okay. Hi, guys. Uh, we've talked for a few minutes and there's not too, too many. How many of us are here? I don't know. We'll just start. Okay, so I am... <laughs> Marilyn says, this is going to be fun. Yes, you are a crazy, crazy nice person. I didn't think about that part of it. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll do a swap. And then I'm like, oh, I'm going to show each one of these things. Like, okay, we'll see. All right, well, let's just get started. You guys have pretty much seen mine. Um, so I'm not going to go through too much. I know we did this one together pretty much, right? So I put, again, a hidden altar paper clip in the folder, however you want to create it. It needed to be five by seven because what's going to happen is when everybody gets theirs, we'll create like a TN um, book, like a Trevor's Notebook laminated if you want for these guys to go in you know so it's like a flow book so you can reach in here and pull some nice things out uh with all the four different uh, folders that you get or um what's the word or i'm possibly i probably am going to show how to make like a like an actual binder like a chipboard you know binder like i used to do back in the day all those books that we used to make a uh, mini album type thing and then you would tuck these guys in so i'm not going to go through these the ones i did on camera too much because we don't need to do that oh let me get this guy in here all right so we have those two these two I kind of worked on on my own you guys saw pretty much how I made that again 15 pieces of ephemera the smaller things I put in here and hope you see there's like a little lady stickers in there and some other um, kind of vellum pieces um, actually we didn't do this one together we did the envelope I mean the folder but I just tucked a bunch of very soft things in there washi and this guy and this one, um, I have a little side um, paper clip. <laughs> Look at this little fairy. <laughs> so cute. Should I go this way, huh? I need to remember that I need to go this way. But um, again, that's that Anna Griffin paper. Again, washies, different die cuts, little bag of goodies in there. I'm not going to go too much in depth. Um, probably in any of them. I'm not going to like open them up, open them up if, I, if it's like in a bag, because I know some people send things in a bag. And another hidden altered paper clip. This is actually a sticker, but I didn't take the sticker backing off. I just stuck them down. So I guess if the person really wanted to peel that away, they can put on something else. But this one's a little snug. And then again, I think we went through this one in the video whenever I created these. So that's the folder. So yeah, so we're going to basically make our own little flow books. So all four of, you know, whatever you get, you're going to get four different ones from four different people. And you're going to put them in. Why is it? Is it looking clear for you guys? Because for me, it looks really bad. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, this is bumming me out. I forgot to check my settings. Oh, wow. There's 100 people here. I'm sorry, guys. On the uh, iPad I'm watching over here, it says there's 30 people. And I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe I should wait for more people to join. But I didn't realize it had bumped up. Okay, so those are mine. It's really clear. Okay, great. Okay, so maybe it's just my daughter's iPad for some reason. Or whatever's going on. Thank you guys so much. Oh, Ethel says, I want to ask for forgiveness now for what I sent. <laughs> Ethel, have I emailed you? I don't remember if yours is in yet. Like I said, I'm going to do this over the next few days. So um, these guys came in pretty early, and I'm going to go on to the next day and the next day. Yeah, Diana says she's going to switch to her TV, see if it's clearer. See? That's weird. Yeah, on my iPad, it looks a little fuzzy. Okay, well, I'm just going to get started, and I'm going to start grabbing them. Okay, this is from Sherry Bellack out of Pennsylvania. I'm going to try to remember to say where people are from. Kristen said she had fun with this swap. I had a lot of fun with it too, you guys. And um, I am going to maybe do one more Traveler's Notebook swap for October, which would be like a, a a swap of a TN that would be like for the new year. Not just for the new year, but like for the year coming up, right? Um, but I really liked doing this too. It was very, it was fun. Uh, pulling out a bunch of dies and things that I, you know, like my Anna Griffin stuff, just to make all these cuts. It was fun. Okay. Um, so again, this is from Sherry Bellack from Pennsylvania. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at the little birdies. I love that. So cute. And then she has her little monies in here. Uh, those swaps are good times and having so much fun. Oh, you're so sweet. I know some people are like, yeah, I do need to take a break. And other people email me. They're like, oh, what am I going to do with myself now? <laughs> swap. There's plenty of swaps going on, I'm sure, if you guys want to look for, you know, a lot of people doing swaps. Okay, this one's Sherry. Oh, my gosh. Look at the little egg. This is the tonic dye. That's so cute. So I think I have enough time to go through each one the way I'm setting it up over several days. So I will do that. But oh, there's a little. Oh, that is so pretty. So she made this little um, butterfly. He's already ready to go. I'm not going to go through each and every piece like that because I can't possibly do that. But 
lots of pretty pieces in there with a handmade touch. And then the little Easter basket and some sweet tags. So cute. I'm going to try to go through them, but not like I can't really open up every single thing, right? And then, oh, look at this one. What is, I'm like, what is going on here? Okay, we have the hidden uh, altered paper clip with the little bike. How cute is that? On the outside, she has little pockets. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is also, this is the Tonic Girl, Sherry. I got that. That is really pretty. I'm going to steal that idea. I love that. And then the little pockets on the outside here. And then lots of die cuts, a little bike die cut. I love how she themed them, you know? Oh, love this. So cute. Some word die cuts and all kinds of fun things. You guys, that's kind of why I was like, I wasn't going to go through each and every one. But at the same time, I know some people, you know, I think it'd be fun to go through each and every one. Like this one has a camera. Look how big this is. <laughs> oh my gosh, with the little aperture. How funny. And then again, camera theme items in here. She has some washi sample on here, some die cuts. So cute. And actually, that's really sweet because, like I said, each person's going to get one, you know, these are going to go to four different people. So, like, the theme doesn't have to follow through the whole, like, everything you make. I think there's a, oh, hi, Sherry, she's here. This is so cute. Look at, and then her little um, heart here on the outside. Ooh, I love this pocket um, bit here and some little tags that are tucked in here. Again, the little bike, die cuts. Sherry, you got it. Like, this is exactly what I was kind of imagining, you know, uh, with the different die cuts. Like for me, I did pop in a few stickers, but I wanted people, you know, to do something like this. This is really great. Thank you so much, Sherry. And then I have your postage, which I will put back in the box because knowing me, I'll say, hey, I didn't get your postage. <laughs> that happens sometimes, sorry. Oh, I had some happy mail too. Oh, um, if I don't do it today, I'll do it tomorrow. This one's from Andrea, all the way from Nebraska. And then we have our postage. All right, Andrea Simmerl. Is Andrea here? I don't want people's info showing. I'm sorry, I have my window open because it was like super chilly this morning and then it's gonna get hot and I was like, I need to get that chill in my house. Oh, is that the trash guy? <laughs> sorry, the trash man's coming through. All right, Lisa says, I haven't participated in a swap yet, but love watching everyone's creations. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> okay. Um, Look at this. Look at, oh, beautiful, just beautiful. The paper has a really nice texture. You have your Believe, all with little beautiness on there. This one feels chunky, chunky. Uh, the 15 items, again, 15 items in each one. Um, look at how pretty, I love this. Andrea, that's so cute. So it's like a little bookmark, but it has like the, well, you can put it however you want. You can use it as tags. Um, but the uh, embossing on that, so pretty. And then she made a little pocket or no wait, wait. Oh, this is just a piece of fabric that's, um, I don't know if that's uh, surged. It looks surged, but it's very cool. A little bag, some other fun things in there. Look at this beautiful velvet and things and some other cute die cuts in the little bags. Oh my gosh, love it. That's so pretty. I am very glad that I decided to spread this out over a few days because I think, you know, we need to go through, give each one their due. Um, this one says create with a beautiful little lace and things. Oh, you know the other one? Is that the bag? Maybe she handmade it. It looks like this, and that one looks like a little bag too. Beautiful paper here. Again, just a really beautiful colorway with the die cuts. All gorgeous. A little roughly kind of lace. This one, this little bag. <laughs> like it looks like a bag, but then it looks like this other one. So cute. Just gorgeous. Pop this in here. And then these are more like pink and it says joy and it's kind of a thicker little hidden altered paper clip with the beautiful lettering out here and then oh so people ask all the time so um i did mention it so what i do is i put everyone's names in a bowl and then we'll draw five names because there are four items so that one person gets the other four people's things and then that person puts their four things out to the other people does that make sense so it has to be groups of five um <laughs> myra um, just beautiful what's tucked in here. Look at this. I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, no, I feel inadequate myself, Myra. <laughs> so pretty. A little pocket. And then in the pocket, she tucked a bunch of cute things in there. Really sweet. Again, I apologize. 
That's actually the guy that picks up the green waste and um, or like lawn clippings and I didn't have any of those this time around. Actually, I had a person come out and do my lawn because I'm like, this is getting ridiculous and I was, and they trim my palm trees. So it looks good right now, even though the grass is dead. But uh, so I'm like, I'm not gonna pay somebody to mow my lawn and the grass is dead, <laughs> but the weed, you know, the stuff grows around the edges. So this guy came by and was like, oh, you want me to trim the palms again? I'm like, sure. He's like, you know what I'll do for you? I'll go ahead and mow the lawn <laughs> and get your edges going. I'm like, you know what? That sounds good. So they did all that shine bright but they took all the trash with them so anyway so it's not me bringing those people out look at this so pretty and um just gorgeous I love that everything's themed and the silver and the pink and the cream just really really pretty thank you so much andrea so that's from our girl andrea simmerl Oh, the other day I showed... Oh, that's right. Well, anyway, I need to do a uh, haul video, but hopefully I'll get it done today or tomorrow. Um, from a bunch of Dollar Tree stuff I got. This is from Liza Sanchez. And the reason I remember that is because I looked over and I have the Dollar Tree bag sitting next to me. And I'm like, oh, yes, I need to do that. So this is from Liza Sanchez all the way from Maryland. That is all the way. California, Maryland. I am so sorry about this lighting. Ugh. It's because I have this light here and the light above me is shining on that and making a shadow. But let's look here. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. So I did notice some people did bag things separately. So I will try to open this. I know somebody had messaged me that two of theirs are exactly the same. So like two and two, they're exactly the same. But um, okay, Liza. So we have a hello, lovely. Look at the little flowers. That is so cute. I'm trying to be very careful with these. I don't want to hurt anyone's paperclip. Oh, just gorgeous. I'm telling you guys are knocking it out of the park. And then, yeah, so this is so sweet. She put a little extra, like, a guard here. I had mentioned that because this is kind of small, right, with a 12 by 12 inch paper. And um, she put a little guard here to keep her little stuff tucked in. Just beautiful. Some of these things are, look at this tag. It's already decked out. Oh, my gosh. With a little pocket, you guys. My goodness. Some little stickers. Look, <laughs> love this. Love that. Oh, I'm sorry. You know what? Oh, yeah, yeah. I want to go through each and every piece. Thank you. Liza, it's gorgeous. I am going to try to pop this somewhere where it's not going to be hurting anything. I might pop these back in afterwards just because right now it would take some time. Okay, so I'll put them back in the little bags. Oh, Gabby and Grammy says, this is a marvelous idea. No, I think it was fun. I really like... I don't know. Again, this is what happens with me when I do swaps, like when I used to do the nail art swaps. We, everyone really loved the glitter mixes. So I'm like, you know, why don't we just do the glitter mixes? So <laughs> I did swaps of just those things instead of like a box of a lot of nail art stuff. And that took off and I would do one every month and with a new theme and all these things, but haven't done that in a long time. But this is really like the fun stuff that's like inside our TN. I mean, everything in the TN is really fun, but this is just another little option, especially for people who don't have a laminator who aren't planning on getting one. And we can still do this kind of thing. Oh, Liza, these are so pretty. Look at these tags. And all the different pieces. Look at a nice sizable piece you can tuck in here and there. <laughs> I love that. Great button work. I'm telling you, I don't really know what to do with buttons. So, like, I have a hard time with that. Lots of tags, stickers, die cuts. Super pretty. Ah. But, again, like I thought in my mind, I was like, okay, I want to do hidden altered paper clips. But also that, you know, I don't know, not just the paper clips. So this is what came to mind, and I think this is fun. Like, we're gonna make our own little flow book, and you'll have all these fun things to do, and, you know. Did I just issue, like, an animal pet theme one? I probably wouldn't do that. Like, that's just not my thing, but I'm sure somebody is doing something like that, or possibly. Um, so here's a paper clip. Um, super pretty. I love the little styling there on the side. Look at the little flowers. Beautiful papers. And then again, with her beautiful tags in here, just, oh my gosh, I need to pull out more of my little flowers like this. I need to get into this channel my inner junk journal girl, <laughs> shabby chic girl. <laughs> look at this. It's a little pocket too, you guys. I had seen that in the other one. I thought, oh, like a little heart, but it's like a little pocket you can add somewhere. Super pretty. This one has like vellum. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous, Liza. Thank you. And then we'll go through this one here. I saw some of the little flowers. <laughs> Ethel. <laughs> she said, please show my stuff with the lights off. <laughs> it's OK. 
okay. Like everyone, again, everyone has a different style. All I care about is that the things are the right guideline sizes. Five by seven, 15 pieces. And then a alt hidden altered paper clip. That's it. Everything else is, you know, what you came up with, it's great. So funny. Hi, Yolanda. Um, again, little pocket and the sweet stuff in here. And I think Liza might have been one of the people that had messaged me saying that they pretty much had the same things inside. Um, so thank you. Oh, look at this button. So pretty. All right. So like I said, I'll put these back in their bag so that they ship out really nicely there. I do want to mention the swaps that came in in, um, in a flat rate box fared much better than things that came in a um, in a padded uh, envelope. And I'm just letting you guys know that because some of them got a little bit crushed like on the sides or those kind of things. The flat rate box seems to hold everything really nicely. This is from Carol Nichols all the way from South Carolina. And I know I joke when I say all the way, but that is all the way too. This is for a swap buddy. Now there's going to be four swap buddies, so we'll see. Somebody will get that one. And then I have a little note. I'm just going to take a peek. Okay, so she wrote a little something, and that's her postage, so I will put that back in the box. Put this back in the box. And again, this is from Carol. Is Carol here? Maybe we should have a swap for first-timers, so I don't know what that would mean. I think that's the whole thing. Like, I try to explain everything very well, so I don't know. A lot of these people are first-timers, actually, which is really nice. First time here, and then first time just swapping, which is really great. So... Yeah, Kristen, you guys, <laughs> you guys are so sweet. Um, Kristen says, I like simple too. Maybe she'll get Ethel and Renee's because I guess they're saying, I know some, you know, they're different. I threw the couch away in the garbage truck and I'm still behind it. <laughs> what? Anyway, um, okay. Really cute. Look at this uh, sweet clippy. I love the different sizes, the different looks. Like, and then uh, she put a little topper on there. So cute. And hers, oh, this is cool. She made like a little bag like sewn up oh my gosh that is so fun it feels like photo pocket yeah that is so cool love it and then um she put all her little um, embellishment pieces in there super cute little flowers she put together a little bag here we got some uh, larger kind of sheets here uh tags kind of stuff embellishment or journaling areas oh my gosh so cute beautiful let me put Thank you, Carol. Oh my gosh, Barbara. I hope she shows my stuff at midnight <laughs> when we're all asleep. Oh my gosh, you guys, everyone has different styles. Please don't know. It's this is great. Don't oh my gosh. You guys are so funny. Um, look at this cute little guy. Love it. I love the little inking and everything she did and her little flowers that she put together. This is really fun. I love this pocket idea. Look at this. You guys saw mine. Mine was pretty basic. Like, you know, this is artwork I'm looking at right now. So everyone has a different style, different thing to go. Oh, so cute. So this reminds me, um, like I said, I had put an Instagram image of like some things I found at Dollar Tree recently. And some of them were like die cut um, butterflies. And there's like 40 of them for a dollar. Like, and they look nice. So I'm like, okay, I have them here to show you guys. But hopefully I'll do a, a, um, a haul soon. Look at this. I love this paper. Oh my gosh. So cute. And then lots of other little fun goodies here. It looks like a little um, washi kind of like postcard looking thing. Super adorable. I'll pop that back in there. You guys are all awesome. I tell you, all the sneak peeks I took, because like I just take a peek to make sure nothing's like broken or tore up or something happened. And they've been great. Yes, exactly, Marilyn says. We should just gather ideas and not feel bad. Exactly. Like when I was looking at Liza's, I'm like, okay, the buttons. I like her little pockets, you know, like the different styles. Like that's exactly what it's about. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's funny because I've seen people use things like this and they'll like tear it up and stuff. I'm like, I need this tzatziki recipe. Are you kidding? <laughs> How cute. And then there's like little kind of tags in here, journaling spots. I mean, look at this. So pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys. And this one has more of like a recipes feel to it, maybe. With this little recipe card over here. So sweet. And then this one here is our little paper clip. Oh, Carol, these are so pretty. I love how she made her little flowers. This pocket idea, I think that it's just adorable. And this might be like a foiling thing, maybe, because it looks like it, right, with that um, toner on there. Tags and journaling spots and cute little tuckaways. Very cute. Thank you so much, Carol. 
I'm going to stop reading. <laughs> I feel bad. You guys, your comments are so funny. All right. Renee says, I deal with self-doubt with humor. Exactly. Yeah. No. <laughs> this honestly was really, it's, it's been so much fun. That's why I'm like, I wanted to jump on it because I wanted to start showing them off. Like everything I've been seeing, I'm like, this is so great. Um, hi, Peg. So this one's from Jean. I think she's here gabbing with Grammy. Is that what? Okay. Jean goes by a lot of names. <laughs> Sorry, Jean. Whenever I'm looking, I'm like, okay, what? Okay, this is the PayPal from, maybe it's from, because she has different, uh, lots of different names everywhere. All right. So this is from Jean. Ooh, what do we got going on here? Beautiful papers. And, and that's the other thing. I mean, the papers, you guys, my goodness. Hidden altar paperclip all decked out. Again, nice and flat. So there can be a lot going on. It doesn't have to be like super thick and it looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, okay. Well, this is her info, which I think she puts on her YouTube anyway. Um, so in this little envelope, she has lots of like larger die cuts. Hope you can kind of see. I don't want to mess things up, tucking them in and possibly damaging when I push them back in. So there's that. And then um, she uh, put everything like in a way that's going to be easy to check out. Look at that. Look at <laughs> Love it. Little uh, envelopes, beautiful die cuts here, and some little like um, ephemera pieces. I don't know why I always want to say some, uh, something else. It's basically ephemera. That's what it's called. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to put this on the side, actually, because that one's sticking out, and we can put this on the side, and that'll work very well. All right. Oh, this one is on the side. What was that other one on the side? I don't even know. Okay. So, again, she has a bigger die cuts in here. And then those beautiful pieces here. It looks like they're pretty much the same, which is really nice. So I can just kind of show it to you guys and show her different beautiful hidden altered paper clips. And that's why I was requiring, like, people asked if all four have to be the same. I, I wouldn't think that people have the exact same of everything, or at least four of everything that they might want to add. So, no, of course, it didn't have to be exactly the same. So cute. I just, she did such a great, and they're all very similar, you know, in the design. And the design just works. It's kind of like a sketch, um, those uh, recipe books, right? Where you have a recipe on how to make like a scrapbook page. Uh, really sweet. So again, beautiful die cuts in here that I don't want to mess up. And then we have our beautiful bits here. I love this tonic set right here with the memories cut out. I think it's tonic. Okay, Gabbing with, Gabbing with Grammy is Jean and she says that her um, goodies are all the same. Thank you. So then, oh, look at the little strawberries on this one. I love that. The little butterflies. Oh, so pretty. And then again, she said her bits are all the same in there. And just beautiful papers, beautiful colorways. Thank you so much, Jean. <laughs> Peg says, wow, I'm going to be stealing some of these ideas. Actually, the first one that came in was from Dieta. She was right on it. But Dieta also lives near me. <laughs> near me enough, huh, Dieta? Um... But I think it's actually down here at the bottom just because the way I had to grab things. Uh, Renee. Renee's coming up from Toledo, Ohio. Renee Schiffler. Yes, what paper is that? Okay, so Jean, they're asking what paper you used. Jean is gabbing with Grammy here, and she can let you know. <laughs> what else did Renee say? <laughs> she says, no. Oh, come on. You're, you're, you guys are so funny. Uh, postage inside. Okay, so I will... Leave that alone. Well, you know what? Every time I come on here to say anything or to talk to you guys, I always get nervous. So now it's your turn to get nervous, I guess. <laughs> like my tummy always like drops. And by the way, I love this so much. This is a little Diamond Press um, card. All right. So let's turn this over or around or however. We have our hidden altered paper clip with the butterflies on the paper and butterflies on the clip. Really cute. Sweet. Oh my gosh, Dieta, <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Um, beautiful kind of tag. Is this like a sticker? It feels like sticker material. There's a little envelope in there probably with some info for you guys. Hello. She put lots of sweet little um, ephemera pieces and things. Oh, <laughs> I love that. Oh, Dorsey, it says. <gasps> Mr. Jack Dorsey, it says. No, it's just a Dorsey, but there we go. And then um, lots of ephemera and it looks like um, our Anna Griffin gal here and tag and a beautiful vellum piece. Oh my gosh, just lovely. And there's a larger, t um, like journaling spot in the back. What do you guys call those larger pieces? To me, it's just, you know, it's decorative paper, I guess. I don't know if you, it's 
has to be called a journaling spot. Super pretty. This is a long, long one. Remember I told you guys, I was like, you can do short, you can, whatever it is that you want to do with them. I like the way this looks really nice. Long, um, hidden ultra paper clip. And then she put this little clippy. It's probably holding something, but for now I'll just put it back where it goes. Uh, some vellum topper pieces. There's lots of ephemeras in here with little hello, beautiful the little saucer. I love that. All these pretty look at this. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous pieces. Again, tags and journaling spots and toppers and really pretty papers here. So cute. Renee. <laughs> the tags are mixed media paper. Okay, that's what I saw in that back one. It looked like it's the kind you could color or do something fun with. Our little paper clip with the cute little flowers. Aw, Kristen says she'd love to get one of these. Yeah, you're natural. <laughs> Never would think you're nervous. Oh, no, I'm always nervous. <laughs> I am kind of like a little nervous creature, um, but not, I don't know, just with certain things. Um, little ephemera tags and die cut pieces, again, a tag here, some beautiful journaling spot. And then again, like she said, the mixed media pa papers, so like this paper right here feels really thick with like that coloring. Uh, vellum pieces, lots of beautiful die cuts. Renee, <laughs> you guys are so funny. And this one has a very like twall kind of look to it, to a little old school with the light colors. <laughs> See, so oh, thank you, my tummy is turning. That's how I feel all the time. In certain situations, like I said. Look at the little stickers, like a vellum sticker, little ephemera pieces. So cute, I love the way that was cut. You know, I was just paying attention to the, I, maybe I didn't notice that, but that's really, really cute. Um, again, some larger kind of like vellum type stickers. Oh, I love that. Timeless, look at the little teacup. Adorable. Lots of fun pieces, <laughs> everything in here. This is so cute. Love like tea related stuff. Tag, vellum topper, and that mixed media or mixed media type card. So cute. Thank you, Renee. Did I say where Renee's came from? All the way from <laughs> Ohio. Thank you so much, Renee. All right, we got Sue. Sue is in the house now, Sue Hollihan, and she is out of Texas. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this out of here carefully because she packaged it very beautifully. Thanks so much for all you do. Oh, thank you so much. And then she sent the other stuff, PayPal. Thank you. So cute. Um, very sweet, you guys, as you can see. Put that to the side. I'm gonna wrap them carefully. But again, for the reveal, I do have to open it just a little bit. Sorry, guys. I'll try to wrap them back up nicely. Yeah, the teacup was really, really, really beautiful. <laughs> oh, I see. She put herself in the trash truck. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, look how cute. I love this paper. Beautiful. The little flower there. Embrace your own page. Oh, take a walk on the crafty side. <laughs> love it with all the different ephemera bits really cute little tucks here and like little paper clips and i mean look at how delicate this die is oh is this from um tonic or my turban because i know sometimes people have similar things but this feels very feels very tonic to me so pretty i don't want to mess that one up um lots of little fun like tags this is stickers oh the little um ribbon on a roll or on a paper and then some other little tags and cute stuff back there some like um, buttons that are made of uh, chipboard, looks like. Just gorgeous. Loving this paper. I love this paper. Did you do this on, like, was this handmade? Because now that I look at it, like, the way it has the little sparkles, looks handmade. Super pretty. And Sue is here, I hope. She was here. Okay, I'm going to try to wrap this nicely again. There we go. <laughs> I haven't seen Sue say anything, but she was here earlier. She was the one saying that we should do like maybe a, a beginner swap. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. I know I noticed doing this. I need more of these like little words. And last time I typed my own with my um, typewriter, which is great. But uh, like <laughs> Marilyn says she's stuck up a nice tissue. Yeah, for me, it's like these kind of little words. I have several, I think from like 
Spellbinders and like Tim Holtz, but anymore. <laughs> Super pretty. Look at that. I make things. Oh, I love these stickers. This is so sweet because honestly, in a flow book, this is the kind of thing. Yes, there she is. There's Sue. Uh, she has like the little burlap ribbon, a little organza, some different types of die cuts. I can see they're all tucked in there. Look at this jute. Really cool. Some little um, brads. All kinds of sweet things. Little tags and toppers and look at that. Okay, that's her little hello to her swap buddy. Super cool. Thank you so much. All right, let's put this over here. You guys, I mean, this is this is a lot of fun. <laughs> like I said, I wanted to go through them, so this is no rush. Just kind of hanging out, checking them out. Thank you guys for being here. Super appreciate it. Where do word stickers come from? I know Tim Holtz puts out a lot of them, right? He has all those different kind of sets. Like I said, I got some from Spellbinders. I have actually a set of stamps that are like poem, whatever, but they look like that. So you can just stamp whatever you want. And they're like these little tiny, and it's like this big old book that you open up. I got it at Barnes and Noble like 10 years ago or something. I love it, but I need to bring that out. What are these books called? Shannon, so basically these, uh, the way I came up with this one was that it's like the folder that goes into the traveler's notebooks. And then, um, so I just call it an ephemera folder. I mean, I'm sure other people have folders or do something similar. And then we're going to put them all together, like the four that the person gets 